this might be an awkward angle hey my lovelies you guys are really like you feel really far away i don't quite know where to look the sun is just going crazy today as per usual douglas my partner hi if you're new to my channel douglas is my um is my boyfriend he for my birthday surprised me with a trip to bath and it is this weekend and i am so excited i thought i would do a little pack with me video we're only going away for one night we'll be traveling there saturday morning coming back Sunday late afternoon very mini staycation I guess you'd call it the main reason I'm doing this video is because I just thought it would be fun to do but I have been using a few new beauty products recently so I can show you some new beauty items that I've been using gives you an idea of what I'm gonna wear over the weekend and yeah I just thought it'd be a fun video to do so let's get on with it first things first is my suitcase I've been asked about this quite a lot and it's no longer available I only got it last year from Marks and Spencer I will try and link everything I mention in the description and if I can't find the same item like like this I'll try and find something similar to organize my clothes I bought these packing cubes or this is called a packing organizer set i don't know why i've never heard of this kind of thing until recently they are cubes that you can organize your clothes into and there's a small medium and large protects your clothes a bit and just helps to organize everything a little bit so i usually feel quite organized and then i start adding chargers and this and that and then it all just ends up a bit cluttered so these are great so i'm going to use these for the first time today i've not really thought about how i'm going to do this um i'll show you what I'm going to be wearing this weekend. That will, I can't, can't reach them, they're all the way over here. Hang on. I wanted quite comfortable outfits um, because um, we're going to be in the car for a few hours Saturday and another few hours coming back on Sunday. I also wanted to be comfortable when we walked around Bath. But also, um, I've got a bit of a sinus ear infection thing going on. It's making me feel quite lousy. That's the main reason I want to feel comfortable. I've decided to go for dresses so that i can just wear tights um, and not have to wear jeans i'm either gonna wear this saturday or sunday this is a jumper from free people i wish i'd got it in an extra small i was worried it would be like a little bit too clingy but i didn't have to worry about that it comes up very big it's strange it's not like um it's not like the jumpers i'm used to i'm used to quite kind of warm fluffy jumpers and this feels almost almost like rope that's a really bad way of explaining it but it doesn't feel like a normal knit it's nice though it's very heavy when i saw this on their website i really envisioned myself wearing it with my all saints remy coat which unfortunately isn't available anymore the only color they have left in this is the rose color which is lovely but obviously a pink coat isn't as practical as a navy coat i absolutely love this coat the only problem with this and i don't know if anyone else has this problem who owns this coat but the sleeves are very small and <laughs> i have fairly small arms so i'm not sure if this jumper is going to be too chunky underneath it and it might end up being quite uncomfortable i may end up wearing something else if i feel like this is too chunky under this jumper but i just think the navy and the cream just look really nice together it's a classic city vibe kind of laid back but chic look i like to think <laughs> oh this is very heavy so yeah that's um outfit number one Obviously, I'll be wearing it with tights, and I've got a couple of pairs of socks. Today, outfit number two, and may potentially end up just being the outfit for both days, if I'm too uncomfortable in that, is an outfit I've never shown on this channel. But if you um, if you watch my vlogging channel, you're probably sick of seeing this dress. This is a dress I bought um, last summer, and it has served me well. I love it. By um, Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. And they do some really lovely dresses and I'm hoping that they bring out some more this year that I like. And the way I wear it in the winter is I pop this jumper over the top from weekday. And it just gives it more of a casual look. Um, it lays it up. Again, I wear it with my tights. And again, it looks really good with my All Saints coat. So without trying, I've actually managed to pack quite lightly in the clothes department. Which I didn't need to do because we're driving there and I could pack the whole flat in the kitchen sink if i wanted shoes i'm going to be taking are these chelsea boots from topshop every year they bring out a slightly different version i've always loved ankle boots and chelsea boots have been my go-to for a long time i'll wear these with all my outfits i think it's meant to be quite mild weather but i will take my bubble hat and my um acne scarf just in case i get chilly in the evening we're going to a restaurant called 
olive tree you guys gave us so many suggestions we spent about two hours researching restaurants for breakfast and lunch and dinner and it was a tie between soto soto i think it was soto soto and olive tree for the evening i'm going to wear now <laughs> I've got two here because I wasn't sure which colour, but I'm going to go for the, the navy blue version. This is the, they're the same dress, but I'm going to go for the navy version. I, I, I love this tomato red colour. I think it looks great with my complexion, but because it's still winter, I feel like let's make the most of the navy blue dress because I'm sure I'm going to wear this red dress a lot in the summer. Let's pop that up here. This dress is from Free People. I swear this isn't sponsored by Free People, but I just seem to have gotten a few bits from free people recently i've worn this dress a few times already it's a navy blue suede dress it's available in several different colors this was the first color that i got and then the other day i treated myself to the red color underneath it and if you follow me on instagram you may have seen my instagram stories where i was trying this outfit in several different ways because i wasn't quite sure how to wear it but underneath i'm going to wear this shirt from whistles and don't laugh at me but i'm going to wear it backwards like this because um the front has a keyhole and because the dress already has a v-neck it it doesn't quite go but backwards without the without the keyhole at the front it goes really well if i undo the zip a little bit you can kind of see what it would look like so like that with the sleeves rolled up it probably would look better without the frills but i don't have a nice shirt without frills and this is a lovely shirt i don't know if whistles still have this shirt but yeah i'm gonna wear this with either some skin colored tights or bare legs if i can um brave it and then socks and ankle boots. I feel like Chelsea boots are a really good all-rounder, apart from the odd occasion like a wedding or maybe like a red carpet event. Not that I really go to many of those. They're probably the only occasions that I wouldn't wear Chelsea boots, but I feel like for a lovely meal out, but you still want to be a little bit like cool and cash, but a little bit dressed up, Chelsea boots are fine. Anyway, <laughs> those are my outfits. I'm going to pack them in the suitcase now because I always pack clothes first. Saying that, I don't know which outfit I'm going to be wearing on Saturday, so I might have to take one of the outfits out depending on what I decide to wear. So let's get those packed and out of the way, and then I will move on to toiletries. <laughs> It's quite nice knowing that my jumpers are protected in here because usually I'd be a bit worried that they're going to get snagged in the suitcase. Oh, before we move on to toiletries, I've actually got some swimsuits to show you because Doug's planned that at sunset we are going to go to a, can't remember the name of the place, but um, we're going to go to a sunset spa, not a sunset spa, a rooftop spa, and they've got a swimming pool on the rooftop and you can see the whole of Bath. It's meant to rain, so I don't know how that's going to go, but um, I don't have a swimsuit. My old swimsuits pre having Delilah don't fit me anymore, they're far too small. I've been panic buying swimsuits. The bikini I really want to take, but I'm probably not going to end up taking and I should probably just send back is this one from Solid and Striped. I've never heard of them before. I love all of their bikinis and their swimsuits. It's this little number here. It doesn't look like much, me holding it up like this. It's in a mustard yellow and white stripe. I love this so much, which is why I was um, happy to pay the price tag for it. It's not, um, it's not the cheapest of swimsuits, but I wanted something to make me feel good because I'm dreading wearing a swimsuit. It just doesn't fit right. I have, a, I think I must have a, a quite a long body, even though I'm not that tall because jumpsuits and swimsuits always seem to like tug. I ordered this in a medium and a small. The medium's not any longer, it's just baggier. So actually the small fits me, but it comes like really quite low on my boobies and it's really like bummy. My bum basically just sucks up the, the back of this and it's just not, it's not a good look really. I love like the square neckline and yeah, I just, I think I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that as much as I love this, I'm gonna have to send it back. It's not worth the money when I'm a bit unsure. I think the one I'm gonna take is this one and it's in this waffly material. It's not like classic waffle, but it kind of has that feel and look to it. The neckline's lovely. Again, it, like, I feel like it could be a tiny bit longer in the body. My bum is always squished by swimsuits. This is a size 
10. Could have done with a 12, or they say in that it's a bit baggy around my boobs. It just swimsuits are hard to find unless you're like the same size everywhere, which let's face it, most women are not. I really want to get on and talk about my beauty stuff, and I'm just waffling on about swimsuits and clothes. And I also love the little frilly bits it has around the leg and around the top. So it's kind of got this a bit fr frilly here, which I thought was pretty. Let's move on to toiletries and beauty products because this is the stuff I've really been wanting to talk about. You may have seen that I've gone a little bit crazy in Oliver Bonus. So all of these are from Oliver Bonus. I mainly went in there to get a new makeup bag because I needed one that just comfortably fitted all my makeup in. And this fits everything and more in there. I won't bore you with what's in this bag because um, most of you have seen my everyday makeup. But if you are interested in knowing what's in here makeup wise, I will pop a link to a video where I show my makeup, maybe in my boyfriend does my voiceover video because um, it's got all the makeup that I use in the description. The only thing that is different to all the other videos that you've seen me do my makeup in is my eyebrow product. So for the last couple of months I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the colour Taup um, and I really like it. It's really easy to fill in your eyebrows and then it's got a spoolie on the end so you can brush it out and make it look a little bit more natural. But apart from that it's all my same makeup and it fits very well into this bag. This little bag um, is full of bits and bobs. I've got hair bands, I've got some cotton buds, a nail file, um, some cuticle oil, little scissors because you never know when you need a little pair of scissors, all of those sort of knickknacks in here. I think this is a great little bag, like I didn't plan on getting this but when I saw it I thought this would be great because otherwise this kind of, this stuff always gets lost. And then my toiletries bag. I have some shower gel, this is just Lord of Miss Rule Lush shower gel. I just take whatever small shower gel that I have lying around in the cupboard. I'll be taking my Dermalogica overnight to clearing gel. I'm breaking out so bad at the moment. Whenever I feel like I've got some spots coming up, I pop this on them and it seems to really reduce them and make them come out faster and go away quicker. I've got my blush brush in here because um, it wouldn't fit in the makeup bag. I have my Jason deodorant and this is the Unscented Naturally Fresh for Women. One. This is a new eye cream that I've been using uh, for the last few days and this is the Antipodes, I think that's how you say it, an Antipode Kiwi Seed Oil Eye Cream. It's got avocado oil, carrot seed and antioxidant bonanza grape. <laughs> Apart from the odd bad review, this has had a lot of good write-ups. I've only used this for a few days so I couldn't tell you if it's reduced my under eye circles or fine lines but first impressions of this I really like it's a really nice cream to pop on I'm gonna take my deep sleep pillow spray from this works I just like the smell of it and I think it helps me sleep better new product that I got today actually and um, so I can't tell you whether I like it or not it's the Aven micellar water I run out of my Dermalogica cleanser and that wouldn't have been great to travel with anyway because even though I've not traveled with it the bottle leaks I don't know how it leaks it just sits on my bathroom sink but it leaks so I needed something I could travel with anyway I'll be using this to remove my face and eye makeup and now I then have some Boots Own organic cotton pads I like to use the big ones to remove my makeup this is a longer video than I thought it was going to be obviously I'll be taking my toothbrush so I have the Philips Sonicare electric toothbrush. It's a great toothbrush but also I love what it looks like. It's so sleek and I love the colour and it comes in this really handy travel case. I will then of course be taking toothpaste. Body lotion wise I'm taking the email oh, I don't know how you say it. I'm taking this one. It's meant to help with bumpy skin, dry skin, dehydrated skin, rough skin, ingrown hairs, this stuff is amazing. I don't use it every day, like I just can't, I don't have the time and I can't be bothered to moisturise every day. I know that's bad, but sometimes just there's more important stuff to be doing. But I have this thing called KP on my skin, which makes it kind of like red and bumpy. Whenever I know I'm going to be getting my arms and legs out, for example, Saturday evening and also when we go to the spa, I like to just feel like my skin just looks a bit smoother and not so red and this really helps. I honestly notice a difference within a day or two of using this. I got this in Boots but you can actually get it on ASOS. And then the last thing is another new product that I've been trying. I've used it for the last few days and I'm really liking it so far and it's the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser for all skin types. Again like the eye cream it had 
a lot of good reviews online. But I will use this after I have removed my makeup with my Aven micellar water. It says it's got um, apricot oil, vitamin E, avocado oil. It's meant to maintain the your skin's natural pH balance and it's not meant to be ultra drying and my skin's so dry at the moment because it's winter and also because I have to use oil control lotions in the day because of this random adult acne that popped up about a year ago my skin can really get dried out so this is nice and gentle and i've not noticed i've reacted to it if anything my breakout that i've been having recently has started to go down so i'm not claiming that it's going to get rid of your acne but i'm just saying my skin seems to my skin seems to like it let's pop these back in here i'm amazed at how much i could fit into this little um little bag and one more thing i have been obsessed with lately are eye masks and because of this silly sinus infection thing i've got the amount of like pressure i've got on my head and i've got like a constant headache and um a lot of pressure under my eyes it makes me feel really tired and i'll have like a normal night's sleep yet you know when your eyes feel really heavy and tired i've just been feeling like that all week so eye masks have been my lifesaver. These are the Estee Lauder Stress Relief Eye Mask. They come in a little pack of 10 and they are individually wrapped. So I'm gonna take a couple out. I'll probably put these on before I redo my makeup in the evening on Saturday and I'll probably um, use these again in the morning just to wake me up and make my face feel nice. But yeah, I've been loving using eye mask. I'm gonna pop these in here as well. Bag wise, I'm going to be taking my Whistles rucksack. This is the Verity rucksack. I don't no, if they still do this i know they do versions of it and maybe the big version but i don't know if they still have this one and i'm gonna take this so that i can take a camera around i can't decide whether to just take my our disposable camera and use that up or whether to take my polaroid camera i don't know i'll take one or the other i also want to be able to carry my bottle of water around with me by bkr or beaker you guys asked me about this bottle loads it's um a glass bottle with a silicone out in i've had this for about a year and a half i love it and it just means i don't have to one spend money on buying buying water when we're out but two it means that i'm when we don't have to buy plastic bottles talking of reusable bottles i'm also going to be taking my keep cup this is the one that i've had for the longest this is the small the small keep cup this is great for things like flat white i'm going to be taking my bigger one and this is going to sound really silly i do love an iced coffee and at this time of year the only places that will do iced coffee are places like starbucks independent places don't do iced coffee unless it's the summer and our starbucks recently closed and i have been craving an iced coffee so on the way to bath I've said to Doug that I want to stop at a Starbucks so I can just get an iced coffee. I don't even care if it's not Starbucks, I just want an iced coffee. It's not me being like, oh god, I need my Starbucks. I couldn't care less whether it was Starbucks or not. I just want an iced coffee. I'm going to take my bigger keeper cup because obviously you can't really fit an iced coffee in this one. And I'm also taking one of my stainless steel straws I've had for years. I can pop that in the top and there you go. A much more environmentally friendly way to get a takeout iced coffee. <laughs> Let's get all this stuff packed up in the suitcase. <laughs> Underwear and swimsuit can go in this little thingy. These packing cubes are just are just genius. And then you can see what items are in each cube so you don't have to keep like opening them to find what's what. And I've got my shirt and my dress in this one. And then toiletries here. Makeup bag here. One other thing I will be taking is my Jo Malone perfume. I love this. This is my favourite. I've got just under half left, so I'll be sad when this finishes, but I will be buying it again. I love it. It's the Mer and Tonka one. I'm just going to plonk this in here. There's lots of clothing, and like I've said, we're going in the car. It'll be fine in the suitcase. Also, taking a lint roller, because if you're like me, and you like to wear dark coloured coats, but you're also a fan of jumpers, in particular jumpers that are fluffy and malt, you will understand my pain. And a lint roller is essential. Obviously need to pack phone charger, but don't need to pack camera charger because I won't be, won't be vlogging. Although actually I will pop this camera in here just in case I need it. I'm doing like a one second, uh, one second a day for a year video. So I'm gonna take this just in case I need it. There we go, that's everything all packed.
I feel like I've missed something out or that I've forgotten something. I've pretty much covered everything. It feels so nice to ha have everything packed and my outfits planned two days in advance. There's now not going to be that crazy rush the night before or the panic the morning we leave thinking, have I got the outfits I want? What outfit am I gonna wear? And then I just end up panicking and just putting everything in the suitcase. I feel very prepared. I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it's a bit of a, a, bit of a random one. I will see you guys when I get back from Bath. I'll chat about how our trip to Bath was on my vlogging channel when we get back. And I'll probably do some Instagram stories and posts when we're there. But yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. Can't wait, I've always wanted to go to Bath. Despite being ill, I'm very excited. Also, can I just tell you how much I love this jumper? I got this, um, I got this today actually when I was getting a couple of bits um, that I need to take with us this weekend. On the neck and um, the trim, it's got this lilac stripe and I think it's really nice and then obviously it's stripey and I love my stripes but yeah I thought it was quite a cute jumper and it's um got lilac stripes here as well anyway um I should probably go now but I hope you enjoyed the video I will see you in my next one mm -hmm.